Welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Can manifestation really be effortless? Alright, let's get straight to it. Can manifestation really be effortless? Or is that just another woo-woo fantasy? I know what you're thinking. If it were that easy, everyone would be doing it, right? Well, buckle up, because today, we're revealing the secret to making your manifestations flow as smoothly as your morning coffee. And trust me, it's all backed by Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. If you're tired of trying too hard and getting nowhere, this one's for you. But before we dive in, a quick heads up. We're shadow banned, folks. Yep, the algorithm isn't our best friend right now, so we need your help. Smash that like button, drop a comment, and share this video with anyone who could use a little more ease in their life. And if you need some one-on-one -on -one guidance, stick around, we've got consultations just for you. Now let's get to it. The Illusion of Effort Why Hard Work Isn't Always the Answer Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Why does everyone think that manifestation has to be hard work? You've probably heard it a million times. You've got to grind, hustle, push through. But here's a controversial statement. What if all that effort is actually working against you? According to Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption, the more you struggle, the more you reinforce the idea that your desire isn't already yours. Think about it. When you're constantly grinding, what are you really telling yourself? That it's not easy, that you're not there yet, that you've got a long way to go. And guess what? That's exactly what your subconscious mind will deliver more struggle, more obstacles, more not yet. Instead, what if you could assume that your desire is already fulfilled? That's the secret source right there. Effortless manifestation isn't about doing nothing. It's about aligning your belief with the outcome you want. So, here's the first controversial question. Are you working too hard to manifest your desires? Drop a comment below if you've ever felt like you were pushing a boulder uphill. And if you're ready to let go of the struggle, keep watching, because we're about to show you how to make this process easy. The Law of Assumption, the true path to effortless manifestation. Let's dive into the core of today's topic, the Law of Assumption. Neville Goddard taught that the key to manifesting your desires lies in assuming that what you want is already yours. It's not about wishing or hoping, it's about knowing. The moment you assume something to be true, your subconscious mind gets to work making it a reality. But here's where most people trip up. They don't actually believe in their assumptions. This isn't about faking it till you make it. It's about fully embodying the belief that your desire is already fulfilled. The more you align your thoughts, feelings and actions with this assumption, the easier it becomes to manifest your desires. And guess what? When you get this right, it feels effortless because your subconscious is doing the heavy lifting. But here's a thought. Do you really believe that what you want is already yours or are you just saying the words? Let me know in the comments. And if you're struggling with this concept, don't worry. We've got more tips coming your way. The goal here is to shift from a place of effort to a place of ease. Because when you assume your desires are already fulfilled, the universe has no choice but to deliver. Stop forcing, start allowing. Here's a big misconception that trips up even the most seasoned manifestors, thinking you have to force your desires into reality. Spoiler alert, the more you force, the more resistance you create. It's like trying to jam a square peg into a round hole. Sure, you might eventually get it in there, but it's going to be a messy, exhausting process. And who needs that? Instead of forcing things to happen, what if you allowed them to unfold naturally? The law of assumption is all about ease. When you assume that what you want is already on its way, you stop worrying about the how and start trusting the process. You move from a state of lack to a state of abundance, and that shift in mindset makes all the difference. So here's a controversial statement. Forcing your desires is actually a sign of lack. If you truly believed your manifestation was on its way, you wouldn't feel the need to push so hard. You'd relax, knowing that it's all being taken care of. Drop a comment if you've ever caught yourself trying to force a manifestation, 
And let's talk about how to shift into a state of allowing. The power of feeling. Why emotions matter more than you think. Now, let's talk about something that's often overlooked in the manifestation process. Your feelings. According to Neville Goddard, feeling is the secret. It's not just about thinking your desires into existence. It's about feeling them into existence. Your subconscious mind is deeply influenced by your emotions. So if you want to manifest effortlessly, you've got to start feeling as if your desires are already yours. Here's where things get interesting. If you're feeling anxious, stressed or doubtful about your desires, that's the energy you're putting out into the universe. And guess what? That's exactly what you'll attract more of. But if you start feeling grateful, excited and joyful, as if your desires are already here, you're aligning yourself with the outcome you want. It's all about tuning into the right frequency. So, here's a question for you. What feelings are you broadcasting to the universe? Are you tuned into the frequency of your desires or are you stuck in a loop of worry and doubt? Let me know in the comments and if you're ready to shift into a higher vibration, keep watching because we've got more tips on how to make this process as easy as possible. The role of belief in effortless manifestation. Let's dig a little deeper into belief because this is where the rubber meets the road. Neville Goddard was clear, belief is everything. If you believe that manifestation is hard, guess what? It will be. But if you believe it can be effortless, you open the door to a whole new world of possibilities. The question is, what do you really believe? Here's a controversial thought. Could it be that the only thing standing between you and your desires is your belief that it's hard to manifest them? What if you let go of that belief and replaced it with one that supports ease and flow? Remember, the law of assumption is about aligning your beliefs with your desires. When you believe it's easy, it becomes easy. When you believe it's yours, it's already on its way. So here's your challenge. Take a moment to examine your beliefs about manifestation. Are they supporting you or are they holding you back? And if you need help reprogramming those beliefs, we're here for you. Sign up for a consultation and let's work together to make manifestation as effortless as it's meant to be. Common manifestation mistakes. Are you sabotaging yourself? All right, it's time for some real talk. Are you making common manifestation mistakes without even realizing it? Let's face it, we've all been there. You're trying to manifest something, but for some reason, it's just not happening. So, what gives? Well, there are a few sneaky mistakes that could be sabotaging your efforts. And the worst part? You might not even realize you're doing them. One of the biggest mistakes is focusing too much on the how. When you get caught up in the logistics of how your desire will manifest, you're stepping out of the flow of ease and into the land of stress and overthinking. Remember, the law of assumption isn't about micromanaging the universe. It's about trusting that everything is already handled. So if you're stressing over the details, it's time to let go and trust the process. Another common mistake is holding on to doubt, even if it's just a little bit. Doubt is like a weed in your manifestation garden. It might start small, but if you don't pull it out, it can choke out your desires. The key is to recognize doubt when it pops up and deal with it immediately. How? By reaffirming your assumptions and focusing on the feelings of having your desire already fulfilled. So, here's the controversial question. Are you accidentally sabotaging your own manifestations? Drop a comment if you've ever caught yourself making these mistakes and let's figure out how to fix them together. The power of repetition. Programming your subconscious mind. Let's talk about one of the most powerful tools in your manifestation toolkit. Repetition. According to Neville Goddard, repetition is key to programming your subconscious mind. The more you repeat your assumptions, the more deeply they get ingrained in your subconscious and the more likely they are to manifest. But here's the catch. You've got to repeat them with conviction. Think about it. How do you memorize a new phone number or learn a new skill? You repeat it over and over until it sticks. Manifestation works the same way. The more you repeat your assumptions, 
the more real they become in your mind. And once they're firmly planted in your subconscious, they start to show up in your reality. It's like planting seeds and watering them every day until they bloom. But here's the question, are you repeating your assumptions enough? And more importantly, are you doing it with the right energy? If you're just going through the motions, you're not going to see results. So, make sure you're repeating your assumptions with the feeling of belief, of knowing that they're already true. That's where the magic happens. The importance of gratitude in effortless manifestation. All right, let's talk about gratitude, one of the most underrated tools in the manifestation process. Neville Goddard was a big believer in the power of gratitude and for good reason. When you're grateful for what you already have, you're aligning yourself with the energy of abundance. And when you're in that state, manifestation becomes effortless. But here's the thing, don't just be grateful for what you already have. Be grateful for what's on its way, even if you can't see it yet. This is where the law of assumption really comes into play. When you can genuinely feel gratitude for your desires, as if they're already fulfilled, you're telling the universe, I'm ready, bring it on. And trust me, the universe listens. So, here's your challenge. Start incorporating gratitude into your daily routine. Not just for what you have, but for what's coming. Feel the excitement, the joy, the relief, as if your desires have already manifested. The more you practice this, the more you'll find that manifestation becomes effortless. Consistency is key. Making manifestation a daily practice. Let's be real. Manifestation isn't a one-time thing. It's a daily practice. If you want to make it effortless, you've got to be consistent. That means making manifestation a part of your everyday life just like brushing your teeth or drinking your morning coffee. The more consistent you are, the more natural it becomes and the easier it is to manifest your desires. Here's a controversial statement. If you're not consistent with your manifestation practice, you can't expect consistent results. It's that simple. You wouldn't expect to get in shape by going to the gym once, right? The same goes for manifestation. The more you practice, the more you build your manifestation muscles and the easier it becomes to create the life you want. So here's the deal. Make manifestation a non-negotiable part of your day. Whether it's through visualization, affirmations or gratitude, find what works for you and stick with it. The more consistent you are, the more effortless it becomes. And if you're not sure where to start, sign up for one of our consultations we'll help you create a personalized practice that fits your lifestyle. Effortless manifestation is possible. So, there you have it. The secret to effortless manifestation. It's not about forcing things to happen or grinding until you're exhausted. It's about aligning your beliefs, feelings and actions with the assumption that your desires are already fulfilled. It's about letting go of the struggle, trusting the process and allowing your manifestations to flow naturally into your life. Remember, the law of assumption isn't just a theory. It's a powerful tool that you can use to create the life you've always wanted. But it's up to you to make it happen. Start today by shifting your mindset, practicing gratitude and staying consistent with your manifestation practice. And if you need a little extra help, we're here for you. Sign up for a consultation and let's work together to make manifestation effortless. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We're shadow banned, so every bit of engagement helps us reach more people. And drop a comment below if you're ready to make manifestation easy. Until next time, keep believing, keep manifesting and remember, effortless manifestation is not just a dream, it's your new reality.